Do you use POS in Nigeria? Have you been debited twice for a single transaction? Do you have any experience with POS in which it declines your transaction but you were debited? Or are you a merchant providing POS to your customers as means of payment for goods and services you provide? As a merchant, how do you track POS transactions? As a merchant, do you have an independent way of checking whether bank remit 100% of money collected through POS into your account? How accurate is your POS database? How do you reconcile your POS account with your bank statement? Welcome to a short presentation on POS Analyzer, a complete software solution for tracking all POS transactions. It is an anti-fraud software designed to help SMEs and enterprise organizations in Nigeria track each successful POS transaction from terminal to bank account statement in other to grow business portfolio. Let's look at issues and challenges with POS in Nigeria from expert point of view. POS user issues, customer or buyer's challenges. 1. Multiple debit on one transaction. 2. Failed transactions are not automatically handled except POS users go to their bank to fill a dispute form. Those who do not go to their bank to complain loses their money automatically. 3. Today if you filled the form, you have to go and wait between 7 days to 45 days. 4. POS users are made to pay full cost of POS system failure while the financial institutions feed on the commission arising from these electronic transfers in Nigeria. Let's look at issues and challenges with POS in Nigeria from expert point of view. POS merchant issues, sellers challenges. 1. Merchants are those who provide POS terminal in their business places or places of work for customers to use and make payment for goods and services. 2. Financial institutions are the receiving agent on behalf of the merchant. 3. Financial institutions collect commission from the merchant per transaction. 4. POS transactions are kept in a buffer for one day and remitted following day on lump sum basis to the merchant and on weekends three days in buffer including public holidays. 5. It is makes it very difficult for any merchant to know exactly how much should be expected as credit from the bank from one buffer cycle to another due to fractional commission charges. 6. Banks are the only one giving the merchant the account of POS transactions. Merchant on their part most often do not have an accurate database to challenge the bank POS statement. 7. The POS receipt, which is the only valid evidence in which merchant can show evidence of transaction fades very quickly. This makes it difficult for a merchant to validate bank POS statement. 8. All the issues enumerated above makes it difficult for a merchant to validate all POS transactions were credited 100%. We have held a number of talk show on Nigerian national television stations to sensitize Nigeria business community on the need for merchants to track all POS transactions. Most often business owners pay attention to theft that will come from employee. So they put up measures to prevent it from happening and sometimes when it happened the staff involved is fired. But the worst theft could emanate from unchecked system use for financial transactions. Every business must have a way of auditing financial systems and software being used. Used of POS by merchants in Nigeria is increasing day by day. Now listen to this, according to Mr. Nia Jao, the acting managing director, Nigerian Interbank Settlement System. He said in 2018, Nigerian merchants recorded 285 million POS transactions and that he expects 600 million transactions in 2019. As more merchants introduce POS into their business, there is a need to have software manage and audit POS account. POS Analyzer was designed to help merchants have an independent view of all POS transactions on daily basis. Call the numbers on the screen to request for a copy POS Analyzer to be installed for your business organization. Call now and request. Now let's look at how POS currently works in Nigeria. 
The diagram on the screen shows how we understand POS operation in Nigeria today. Once the buyer initiate payment using POS machine in step 1, it goes to step 2. If it is approved, it goes to NIBSS and the buyer's account is instantly debited, but the seller's account is not credited in step 3. There is a delay in step 3 of one day if it is working day or three days if it is weekend before seller's account is credited in step 4. So if it a working day, the seller's account is credited next day but weekends, it's credited on Monday. Again for public holidays, it is credited after the public holiday. Step 4 looks at when merchant account is credited. Between POS terminal step 1 and NIBSF step 2, the merchant can monitor the transactions via transactional log monitor, TLM, provided by NIBSS. But between NIBSS and the merchant bank account, the merchant do not have a way of monitoring transaction movement to her account. This is where we called a delay bridge and is a black spot. The seller's account is credited on lump sum basis thus making reconciliation very difficult except the seller request for POS transaction statement from her bank. POS analyzer will take all these burden away from the seller. It will track movement of each transaction from point of initiation to NIBSS and from NIBSS to merchant's bank account. Suggested solutions for merchant's issues and concerns. 1. When buyer's account is debited twice for a single transaction, he knows instantly and goes to the bank to fill dispute form for refund, while merchant's credit has to wait at the bridge between one day to three days before account is credited. 2. The main concerns raised by merchant community in Nigeria is, why should they sell their goods and wait to collect money in one day or three days? This means POS operation in Nigeria is forcing merchants to sell their goods and services on debt. 3. We have seen cases where fraudulent buyers go back to her bank and asked for reversal on a successful closed deals without the consent of the seller. What the bank is doing is to send mail to the seller and after a period is reversed without seller's consent. 4. What your bank will tell you is that you can monitor your POS account in real time. Yes that is correct but what you are monitoring is transaction between POS terminal in step 1 and NIBSS in step 2 but between NIBSS step 2 and merchant's account in step 3 cannot be monitored in real time by merchant. 5. What is important to the merchant is when money is credited to his account and not what goes on between POS terminal and NIBSS. 6. POS Analyzer was designed to help merchant hold their bank accountable for each transaction made for goods and services. Now let's look at how POS Analyzer monitors each transaction from terminal to merchant's account. 1. POS Analyzer was developed to help merchants monitor POS account from step 1 to step 2 and from step 2 to step 3 and finally from step 3 to step 4 where merchant account is credited irrespective of number of delay in transition or payment cycle for each transaction. 2. It helps merchant to build an accurate database for POS transactions on daily basis. 3. It helps the merchant to build a daily mental picture of all POS transactions including expected commission charges and expected credit amount from the bank. 4. It works on tripartite algorithm, merchant, Nigerian interbanking settlement and merchant POS statement to establish accuracy of each POS transaction. 5. It detects and generate disputed transactions. Disputed transaction are valid transactions that the bank fails to remit into or credits merchant account. 6.POS Analyzer helps the merchant to generate letter to the bank with disputed transaction claims and demand for refund from the bank. 8. It helps merchant to preserve material evidence in case of future litigations for monies not remitted by the bank. 8. All disputed receipts from POS is digitized and stored in the cloud for future references and in case of litigation by merchant in future. This way POS analyzer help merchant preserve material evidence. POS user issues, suggested solutions. What we think would be a fair solution. 1. CBN should enforce agreed period to reverse failed transactions with NIDSS and financial institutions in Nigeria. 
2. It is an unfair treatment to ask POS users with failed transactions to go to bank and fill dispute form. This is because POS transfer is initiated electronically, so NIBSS should have instant details of failed transfer at the back end electronically, so why ask people to go to bank and fill form? We believe that NIBSS should be able to have details of card that had unsuccessful attempt to make payment and was debited. 3. We strongly believe that failed POS transfer can be handled electronically at the back end without asking POS users to go and fill form in the bank. 4. Asking people to physically go to bank and fill form makes it a condition precedence before refund could be made on a failed POS transfer. We believe there should be no conditions attached to reversing failed transfers. 5. We believe there is no justification for POS users to forfeit their money on failed transactions simple because they did not complain to their bank or visit to fill form. 6. We believe it should be possible for NIBSS to refund money to debited account with failed transactions without any condition precedence. 7. POS users should not be debited until the transaction is approved by NIBSS. Merchant Issues on POS Suggested Solutions 1. The delay bridge during POS transfer between NIBSS and POS Merchant's Bank account should be removed. It is a black spot. 2. When a customer initiate payment through POS machine, if the POS machine approved the transaction, the buyer should be debited immediately while the merchant is also credited immediately. This way the merchant would be able to reconcile his sales account with her cashier and the bank on daily basis. 3. All merchants now need POS accounting software to be installed in the account department to help account for volume of POS daily transaction. 4. POS Analyzer is the first widely publicized software designed in Nigeria by Nigerian local company to help merchants in Nigeria effectively manage POS account from end to end. 5. POS Analyzer is an anti-fraud software. To buy POS Analyzer software. 1. Go to www.mypowersoft.com. 2. Click on Request for POS Analyzer software. 3. Fill the form and click Submit. 4. POS Analyzer team will get back to you with payment details. 5. Once payment is made and confirmed, Software license will be sent to the client to run the application. 6. Software cost is 5,000 Naira per terminal per month for a minimum of 50 transactions per day for a basic plan. 7. Call 0803342-8469 for further inquiry. Basic plan. BP monitors 1 to 50 transactions per day per POS terminal. Intermediate plan. IP monitors 51 to 100 transactions per day per terminal. Corporate plan. CP monitors 101 to 200 transactions per day per terminal. Enterprise plan. EP monitors 201 to 5000 transactions per day per terminal. Special enterprise plan. SEP monitors 5000 and 1 to millions of transactions per day. In this plan we deploy dedicated server in the cloud. For corporate organization or where volume of POS transactions is above 100 transactions per day, we will deploy POS Analyzer Consultant to work with the organization and ensure every POS transaction is closely monitored daily and reconciliation with bank statement is done on daily basis. Disputed transactions are sent back to the bank for reconciliation and refund. Why merchants should buy the software? 1. To help merchant ensure that monies collected by bank using POS are remitted 100% to merchant account. 2. Help merchant recover all unremitted money from the bank. 3. Help merchant determine actual POS sales per day. 4. Has ability to connect to merchant legacy sales software. 5. Has ability to upload merchant POS data from Microsoft Excel from 2007 and above for analysis purposes. This means the cashier can work without need for data network connection. 6. It provides independent means of checking POS financial records as kept by the bank as well as POS sales account as kept by sales cashier. 7. If you don't check POS account, it will kill your business. Please take action though and buy the software. Give us a 30 days trials period. If there is no value added, then discontinue with the software. 
We do not charge for those 30 days. Some common fraud practices using POS machines in Nigeria. 1. Double entry fraud. This is a method whereby the merchant's cashier keep customer POS receipts plus the one meant for the cashier. She will use the two receipts to account for sales twice on the same day since the dates are on the same day. For some organization that uses Excel to keep POS information for purposes of POS sales accounting. We have seen double entries in most of corporate account that we have audited. This is always cleverly done by the sales cashier especially in places where the volume of POS sales is very high per day. 2. Solution to double entry fraud. POS account manager and any organization should look out for transaction date and transaction reference number on printed POS receipt. Any two receipt with identical transaction ID should be rejected and treated as double entry. POS analyzer was designed to reject all double entries in POS statement. POS Analyzer will first of all generate report of double entries and then eliminate double entries before analysis is done. 3. Demand from your bank two statements. One is transaction by transaction POS account statement and the second is normal business account statement in which the cumulative from POS statement is credited. Check and eliminate transaction reference that are same. For the use of foreign POS machine for transaction. Any POS machine that does not belong to your organization or attached to your business bank account number is a foreign POS machine in that environment. There are cases where cashiers, receiving agent or sales personnel bring in secretly a POS machine that does not belong to that organization and give it for customers to use occasionally. This happens because most business owners does not check POS account statement or carry out detail analysis. 5. Solution to use a foreign POS machine in an organization. The business owner or business manager should print out terminal ID of all POS machine in her organization. From time to time she should intercept print out receipt from cashier and sales officers to check against the known terminal ID registered for her organization. Every POS printout has a terminal ID number printed on it. 6. POS analyzer consultant attached to corporate organization are trained to prevent POS fraud in an organization. 7. Date and time error on POS machine. Check date and time on printout from your POS machine and ensure that the date and time is in line with sales date. Some POS machine with this error will sometimes print same date and time for different calendar days. This makes reconciliation of daily sales account using POS printout with POS bank statement very difficult. The only valid evidence that a merchant has is an approved printout from POS machine. If that evidence is printed with same date for different business calendar day. Then there exist a big reconciliation issues ahead. Please follow me on Twitter at Evans Suko or Facebook Evans.uko at Facebook.com for more details discussion on POS fraud in Nigeria and to read more on some of my presentations. Awareness trainings on electronic fraud in Nigeria and prevention. At Smart Drive Consulting we also offer an awareness training on any of the following topics. POS fraud in Nigeria, cases, and prevention. Electronic fraud in Nigeria, cases, and prevention. The aim of these awareness training is to sensitize people and organization on how not to be a victim. You need to know how they did it and why it was possible. We follow up and document electronic fraud cases in Nigeria as well as recommend preventions. If your organization is interested please send a request to Evans at smartdriveportfolio.com or call 08033428469 software fraud audit at smart drive consulting we also offer services to look at all financial software that an organization uses we look at the business processes in the software flow and try to establish areas of conformity and areas of nonconformity that are high fraud risk make foundations on how to mitigate risk we try to identify fraud risk prone areas in financial software and make recommendations the greatest risk any organization could face are the risk associated with employee fraud. It usually started as a small hole and become wider over time. Periodic software audit will try to identify the holes and make recommendations. Please send a request to Ovens at SmartDrivePortfolio.com or call 08033428469. Thank you for watching and please share with friends and merchants in Nigeria. They need to know how POS operation works as at today and what they can do to protect themselves against theft.
We encourage more businesses in Nigeria to use POS because it is an efficient way whereby a buyer and seller can exchange goods and services. All merchants must look for proactive ways of managing their business bank account on daily basis. Today we present you with a solution that will help your organization proactively manage your business account. Follow us on Twitter at Evans Uko or like our Facebook page Evans.yoko or better still visit our blog evansuko.blogspot.com. This will enable you benefit from our electronic fraud awareness program in Nigeria.